G'day everyone, Steelhorse here, welcome back to Griffin, we're in the second half of January and just been loading up our silage onto the trailer here so that we can take it down and sell it today. Get lined up if we can, we're not in the right spot. Kevin's been busy. Still not in the right spot. There we go. So we've got. 55,000 in the bank from our activities last time and now we want to maximize our cash we got to get some more stock for our ranching operation uh, it would be great to set up another pasture uh, we keeping a watch on what's happening in the shop We'd ideally like a second hand planter to come up uh, for the corn. Yeah, what are we going to do here? Can we put one in there? And ideally another pasture for for a barn with some facilities for some milk production would also be a nice idea. Don't want to drop the front, but never mind. tried to put the spikes either side I wouldn't have stood a chance let's see can we get you in the back maybe The other thing we will do today is plough the cornfield. And I'm thinking that potentially we might run a plough, uh, plough out a fueled in the east meadow uh, because that's producing heaps of grass. And we'll run over here and get this plough started. Cosplay here, I think. And so we're going to create cosplay job. The field is this one. The target start will start here. Let's have a look. Work with have to check but that's not right I'm pretty sure it's about 19.7 one tool two headlands start on the headlands Out corners clockwise okay, so we can do the Headlands anti clockwise will be fine. Four for land, bypass, generate course. 
looks all right. Oh, there's the start. Get down over there. You should pick it up in just a sec. So after a bit of messing around, one of the things that I've learned is that this plow, now that in course play the offset is wrong and there isn't a way to tell course play for plows uh, what the correct offset is. So that's okay. That, just how it works don't know the reason uh, but for our purposes what that means is we'll do the headland and uh, then we can on this field at least we can put a regular worker on the up and downs and that'll work just fine so we'll drive around here Should be able to get this headland done pretty quickly. And then we can duck down to the shop and buy our, oh, sell our silage. I so said we'll do a trip down to do that. And we'll also do a trip down, buy some more ca uh, calves. So that'll be good. should do the job I will leave him to go and we'll uh, just go and check where's the best place to sell this silage so silage it's a wash We'll go to Larson's. See what the gossip is at the livestock market.
121,000 litres of silage, so that should make us a couple of dollars. Let's see how we go here. Oh, we've got those two hay bales too. Yeah, walk behind the trailer, bud. Rightio, so two, ten, forty-five thousand or thereabouts. Very nice. Made for an interesting conversation. Even had a bit of a chat to the like that helped him unload the bales and uh bloke had plenty to say about the, the fella that bought the spinnery seemed to think he was a bit of a goose and he should have just let the spinnery collapse under its own weight seems to think every chance no one will plant cotton this year and he'll have nothing to, to spin. So, Kevin just listened. But uh, if that's the case, that's a bit worrying. Certainly we haven't looked at the spinnery. It must be uh, working its way through that cotton. So we're going to need to load up some bales in here at some point. So we might leave the trailer here. Disconnect that. Go and get the cow trailer and I'll see you back down at Larson's let's grab ourselves a load of Angus calves So that's all done. And here comes the rain. Just pop down here. The rain's tipping it down now, but before we go and get some more cows, I think we'll put down uh, a barn and facility to uh, for some milk cows. And I've looked at a few of them and Big buildings are huge and tend to be, in my view, a bit more European oriented. We want something at least a little more in keeping. Ideally, I'd like the cows themselves in a field, but at least for a few milk cows, we could do something along the lines of this. Up here, I think. 
And so if we turn off and just allow it to place, I'm hoping there's not too much slope. And that way we can preserve the tree at the end of the and that looks not too bad, I think. But that seems to have dropped that in there pretty well. And then maybe we can put the manure extension just around the back here. So perhaps silo extensions, what have we got here? Manure storage. Four thousand for a hundred litres. That's probably all we really all we really need, isn't it? Like so. I think we'll go with that. Hopefully that will do the trick. So let's uh, duck down the shop. Um, we're only going to put calves in. Uh, we're only going to feed them. Uh, we're only going to feed them a for the moment so we're not terribly worried about their their milk production right off the bat so we're what we're looking to do here is a, a low cost uh low overhead uh, introduction so you know a year or so from now we should start to see some milk production And until then, we'll just let them munch away on some, some grass. We can always add some mature cows in if we get to the point where we're confident enough in our financials uh, to make that thing. But I think for now, we'll just put uh, 12 calves in there and let them develop on their own. strikes me as the sort of way that Evan might approach the the cow caper so let's grab some Holsteins when we harvest the wheat we'll get some straw which will give us a little bit of uh, manure we'll just drop off our second load of milk cows beginning to think what we'll do ultimately is modify this to be the uh, heavy vehicle entrance to the farm and we'll put a front gate part way down that road that services a bit of a private driveway to the house so that visitors and the like to the farm aren't traversing the, the yard to get to the house feels a bit more how I would do it. So we can uh, probably leave that there for the moment. Now we are plowing is coming along but we'll go over and load a few bales on so we can get some Hay into these cows.
think given the weather we'll just get eight to ten on here and that will be plenty for the moment but, uh, we can come back and load the, the rest when the weather's kinder to us I think that's enough to be going on with. I can't drop. I can't tell it with that, can I? Okay, yeah, let's go and get the huge. Take this one back with us. Hopefully we'll take the other one as well. That's over near the fence. to spirit. we might go and do is uh, relieved our ploughman and uh, there we go What's the deal? Let's have a look at our cows now. So, self-made cow shed, 12 cows. We have 9,000 litres of hay. It looks like it's going to hold about 40,000 litres, would be my guess. So, we don't have any straw. Um, but we might we might solve for that the next time we're at the the shop or the animal dealers, just because it feels like the right thing to do. But in the meantime. Let's go and get that um, plow. Okay, so just run around the corner here. That worker got about half the field done. Looking at how it was progressing, I'm guessing there's the issue that course play was having with this plow is a definition issue on the plow itself so I'll look into that when I have a moment um, it certainly works fine as a plow it, uh, just there's something not quite right in the definitions because when you attempt to do anything automated it doesn't treat the wheat correctly, so we'll see what's what with that. But meanwhile, 
we can just keep chipping away at this ploughing. fade on this wintry January day we've uh, we're on our last row so this field's all prepped and ready for the for the corn planting in a couple of months time We've knocked a few jobs off the list and more importantly we're in good shape when the planting window opens to be able to put the corn in and deal with any things that might come up. So that's good. The milk cows are established in their shed so Jocelyn will be pleased about that. And uh, we've got a set of Angus that'll breed over the coming year and fill up that pasture. So we can start thinking about where we want to place the next Angus pasture. Can't believe I just missed that spot. So that's the ploughing done. We'll just head back to the house here. We'll get back before dark, which is nice. What we will check is the, whether that field we've just done needs lime. So let's have a look here. So 78. So it's not bad, but it could do with a little. So we can do a little bit of uh, a little bit of liming uh, if we get an opportunity before we put the seed in. Meanwhile, 
that will i think do us for the day you'll notice we might not be able to tell i did pick a couple of loads of hay off of this field here so we have a look in our new fermenter we've got plenty plenty of hay 300,000 litres of hay and 48,000 litres of silage so we've got all of the ingredients we need to keep our our cattle going for some time and uh, even make some silage when we get to it so things are in really good shape but uh, with all of that done I think it's time uh, to go and stoke the fire and uh, take a load off. Perhaps even uh, knock the top off a of frothy, as we'd say in this part of the world. So uh, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. See ya.